What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Regieleki team. Now this Regieleki gets paired up with Kyogre, a Spex Terra Water Kyogre by the way, and then is able to throw off powerful thunders with Life Orb and Transistor Boost, or it's able to just Electroweb to give Kyogre another form of speed control. Because the name of the game with Kyogre is Speed Control. We've also got a Max Speed Tornadus here with Tailwind. We've got a Ferrigarath with Trick Room if you want to go that route, though Kyogre is Max Speed. Uh, and then we've also got just some other powerful hitters here. We've got Ursaluna with a Silk Scarf, no Earth Power here, instead Vacuum Wave, and a Choice Band Dark Urshifu with Terra Poison Poison Jab. So a lot of power on this team. Hopefully I can do well because I want to get into Master Ball. Uh, but anyways, let's jump into it. Why is Aleki's icon so short? Uh, here we are with an Ice Horse. They've also got Water Pond. Uh, it's Indeedee, Incineroar, Annihilate, and Fluttermane. Okay, uh, my fear is Gambit Annihilate. And then they try to set Trick Room. I can get around that with Tailwind. And I want Tornadus anyway to deal with Ogre Pond, so actually, actually Torn... Torn Ogre seems pretty good. And then after that... What else do I need? Um... Ferrigraph is mandatory, they have Fake Out. It's weird that they have Fake Out and Indeedee though. And then finally, my own priority with Urshifu isn't that useful. Uh, my bear isn't min speed, so under t under uh, Trick Room it doesn't help that much. Reggie Lecky works fine outside of Trick Room. What's awkward is I might want to set Tailwind. Anyway, um, I think I will go with Regieleki. Yeah, mostly because I ran out of time. I think Bear might be a little bit better here. Uh, but I want Regieleki because I want something else that can hit Ogre Pond well. Wellspring. Uh, they didn't have a trainer card, which threw me off there for a second. Sorry, guys. And, oh, it's Ogre Pond right away. Gotcha. Alright, you've got your Unnerve Calyrex, fine, whatever. Obviously, I want to click Bleak Wind Storm. Maybe I want to get Kyogre out of here. Yeah, I think I'll swap Kyogre out for now. It's tempting to just go for Tailwind and use a water move. But then they could Trick Room, and then if they just hit me with a Grass move, it's annoying. Oh, Terra right away. That must be the Calyrex into Grass or Water. No, it's Ogre Pond? Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. Tornadus is a lot less useful now. And the horse just protects. Okay. I kind of like that because that means you're not putting up uh, Trick Room. Who's this? Oh, it's an Ivy Cudgel. Is that into Tornadus then? No. It's right into where Kyogre was. Well. <laughs> Ferrigraph ain't sticking around too much longer. I think I'm gonna go for a Bleak Wind Storm and a Helping Hand. Just get as much damage off here as I can. They're likely to set Trick Room this time, but I can't really stop it. Good damage. I'll take that damage down to Ogre Pond there. An Ivy Cudgel is into Torn. Interesting.
Oh, and just the glacial lands. Okay, you got your you got your two KOs. You're happy. Oh boy. Now that looks like a really tough position for me. Or is it? No, it is. It definitely is. <laughs> but there's things I can do. Yeah, put Kyogre on the left. And Regieleki, come on in. Electroweb or Thunder? I mean, I guess Thunder is more reliable into the Ogre Pond here. And then just throw a huge water move at the Calyrex, who cannot Terra. Uh, my fears are... Speed Booster Flutter hitting us if we... I'm, I'm considering whether I can lock into Water Spout. I think I should. I think I should tear a water water spout. I only have five? Oh boy. And I will just thunder the ogre pond. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> we did lose some stuff, but they never took speed control. And so we should be in a good position. And I'm, I'm glad I brought a lucky now. If you let me get a water spout off on something, it's gonna hurt. Okay, they're protecting the horse. I could see them going into, like, Incineroar and just giving up Ogre Pond here. And then they get a Fake Out turn. Uh, then I could be in a little bit of trouble. Maybe. They have a lot of boosts on that horse. Yeah. Uh, that might be the play. I might lose off of that. Because if they just go into Incineroar, Fake Out the Kyogre, get up Trick Room, or just throw a Glacial Lance. That would be an awkward position for me. Uh, who knows if they even brought Incineroar. That might not have been what they have. Okay, they've got Annihilate. I might be faster than Annihilate. Whoa, 277, I am faster than Annihilate. Definitely. Definitely? I think so. 156? 156 times 1.5 is only 234 is their max speed. Okay, so I can go for Water Spout. And as much as I hate it, I have to click Electroweb. Here we go. Alright, we connect on the Annihilate. If they're max speed and Choice Scarf, it now speed ties Kyogre. Which is a little bit scary, but they you aren't usually max speed. Yeah, there we go! Water spout! Boom! Goodbye, goodbye! See you later. Reggie Alecki getting work done. Good job, Alecki. I didn't I didn't notice earlier. Are you shiny, Reggie Alecki? Nice. That's a fun thing to hunt. I've never done it. I don't have the patience for that kind of thing. But that's cool. And then who's your last? Oh, it was just Ndidi this whole time. That's fine, yeah. I assumed you didn't have Incineroar because you would have brought it out there if you had it. Yeah, this team of ours scares out Incineroar pretty good, I think. They don't know that our bear doesn't have uh, Earth Power. They don't know that our other bear isn't the water type. We've got a very scary team for Incineroar. Yeah, you're probably just forfeiting here. Nope, going for Protect. Uh, if you know I'm Choiced, you could Protect out all of my PP by getting a triple Protect. And this team has been public for a while, so you might know I'm not PP up on my Water Spout. Uh, you stop, you end the rain. Oh, that makes sense. End the rain. Now Water Spout's weaker and Thunder can miss. How strong is Electroweb? 55. Uh, expected value of Thunder is still higher. And it connects. Good job, Red Vilecki. You're not let. Whoa! Okay. Oh, Kyogre, do you think a Terra Water Water Spout with Choice Specs with single target can take it out from there? I don't know. Oh, a crit. Thank you, Kyogre. Oh, we needed that. Thank you so much. Whew. 
All right, this team's got my back. I, it was off to a rough start, but this team has got my back. Good game, opponent. Go get a trainer card. Okay, we've got a Cali Ice, Incin, Amoongus, Urshifu, Pelipper, Raging Bolt. Lots of stuff that I don't want to see <laughs> with my Kyogre. But maybe it's alright. How do I beat Raging Bolt? Beat Raging Bolt with a strong Urshifu hit. That's what I do. Uh, Reggie Alecki seems like a good lead too. Kyogre seems like such a good lead into basically anything plus Calyrex. I could maybe even scare them with Farigarath. Maybe I go Urshifu plus Kyogre. Oh, that's scary. I like that. Plus Farigarath plus, I guess, the bear. Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. My scariest Pokemon out front, and then I have some flexibility on what buttons I click with them. Uh, if they lead with Amoongus Calyrex, I just Water Spout. If they lead with Pelipper, maybe I just Hydro Pump something. If they lead with Bolt, uh, maybe I need to bring in Farigarath at that point. Oh, the Big Obama's now? Cool. Good card. So much, uh, cool spots in Paldea that you can go take a picture of. Caliamoongus! Here we go! It's water spout time! And who's more important to delete? Terra Water, Water Spout. Does that take Amoongus? They can't protect Calyrex. Terra Water, Water Spout, and I'm gonna Wicked Blow the Calyrex. I wonder if that takes a Moongus. That would be funny if it did. Okay, this is a good lead. I think I'm in a good position. Uh, maybe they go Terra Water on their Calyrex. No, that, I think that would still go down to this combo. Maybe Amoongus takes this double up just fine. Well, we're not doubling up into Amoongus, we're doubling up into Calyrex. Maybe Amoongus takes the Water Spout and spores something. Uh, Terra Grass, Calyrex. Does that save you? I don't think so, but Calyrex is a beast. If they both live, I think... Okay, it's just Rage Powder. So they're gonna give me their Amoongus. Got it. Well, that takes the decision out of my hands. They're gonna get their uh, trick room up. They're gonna take a lot of damage for having tried. Love it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Is there another lead I could have done that could have done that better? Uh, Reggie Alecki, maybe. No, it wouldn't have done enough to Calyrex. What's my play here, then? Do I give them... Kyogre? I think preserving Urshifu is important for some sucker punches. But I don't think preserving Urshifu is that or preserving Kyogre is that important. So I'm gonna water spout and I'll go into Farigarath just in case they go for like a thunderclap for some reason. Like Glacial Lance will hurt Kyogre, but I can still do like a half damage water spout. That'll do something. If that's all they click on to it. I could also see them double up the uh, Urshifu slot. Yeah, they did. You're letting me get a pretty decent. Oh, and I live. You're letting me get a pretty decent water spout here. Thanks. 
almost enough to take Calyrex even. Incredible. Okay, so now it's a Glacial Lance and a Thunderbolt. You take both KOs. But then I'm in a pretty good position with Sucker Punch. Uh, who do I want to give them? Do I want to give them Kyogre? And Farigarath? Yes. Yeah, I want to give you these two. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to... Ally switch just in case you go for a, like, protect Thunderbolt play. Trying to be cheeky. But you don't. That's fine. Takes out Kyogre. This is okay though. I'm a little bit down, but I'm not out. Oh, I could also Vacuum Wave. Wait a second, I've got Vacuum Wave. Hold up, that could be a play. Wicked Blow and Vacuum Wave here. What's the Trick Room situation? Two whole turns? Who do they have in the back? Who knows? Who do I need it to be? Ah, oh, Pelipper could be annoying. Yeah, I think I will. I lock into Wicked Blow on the Raging Bolt. Hit the Calyrex with a surprise vacuum wave. Calyrex just protected. Okay. Vacuum wave gets blocked. Now you see that I have vacuum wave. But what'd you do with the bolt? Thunderbolt? We take that, right? We better. Phew! Just barely, but we do. And bolt is gone. Thank you. And it's their Urshifu. Do I lose this? Do they Aqua Jet? We're still in Trick Room. Can't let them get a Glacial Lance off. I have to Vacuum Wave. I can't Sucker Punch, so I have to Wicked Blow. I don't have any other play. This is the play I have to click. Yeah, that's the play I click then. All right, let's see what they're doing. Uh, we're max speed, but maybe they are Scarf, and we can get a Wicked Blow off first. Uh, but then they're going to KO something with Surging Strikes, and then they're going to KO the other thing with Surging Strikes. Oh no! Oh, we lost! Oh! Why? Oh, good game, opponent. Man, that came so close. You had a lot of good pieces against Kyogre, though. Oof. Uh, is there a way I could have done that lead better? Rain stopped. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I can't super crit. Uh, maybe you aren't Scarf and you protect for some reason, and then... No. <laughs> Alright. GG. Ah. Man. Good game. All right, Shadow Rex, Raging Bolt, Incineroar, Urshifu, Amoongus, Clefairy. Getting up Tailwind seems nice. They don't have any speed control of their own. So maybe I want to Tailwind plus Kyogre? No, because they could have Raging Bolt or Incineroar. 
and then I would need to go to Frigorath, and then their Calyrex could be faster, so I need to start out with something else. Maybe Tornadus Durshifu is my lead. With Frigorath and Kyogre in the back? Maybe I'm maybe I don't need Tornadus at all. Maybe what I need is Regieleki and Urshifu with Kyogre and Furigarath in the back. That seems pretty good actually. Plus with Terra Poison Poison Jab for that Clefairy, this could work. I'm pretty scared of Spore. And I'm a little scared of what Raging Bolt can do. Raging Bolt could cause some problems. And that's a trainer card, yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting one. I've never seen that take on trainer card. Beast Balls. Okay. You're cool. Do I predict the Terra Fairy turn one? Yes. Electro Web. Poison Jab. I'm going in. I'm going all the way in. Turn one. If this works, I win. Well, no. If this works, I'm so happy. You know you want to do it. You know you do. I guess you could also swap into Clefairy, and that catching that read is also fine. I would be perfectly okay with that, too. Electroweb will break a potential Sash. It'll slow you down to below Earth. They didn't Terra? Who did I miss? I missed the Calyrex, and they didn't Terra. Oh my god. I am in so much trouble. I'm gonna hope I land this Electro Web and I'm gonna bring in Ferrigarath. Ferrigarath will block a Thunderclap. It'll be immune to the Astral Barrage, and then we can try this game again. Lock that with Armor Tail, thank you. Get this Electro Web down to slow you down. That way Kyogre can actually do stuff. Though not with Raging Bolt on the field, it can't. Oh my goodness. That is so rough. Oh boy. They've got so many boosts now. Um, I go back into Urshifu, and now I have to call it right again. I didn't call it right the first time. Would they? Would they do it now? Got the speed drop we needed. I don't know why they didn't Terra. I'm gonna ally switch just in case. If they go for Terra and Draining Kiss. They didn't go for Terra. Okay, I got the call right for once. Goodbye. Oh my goodness. That's not even the biggest threat to Kyogre. The biggest threat to Kyogre is that thing over there. But hopefully they're going after Furigraph here now, yeah. Furigraph, you're happy to eat that up. Protect the Urshifu. Oh my goodness. 
Now what, you got Clefairy or something? A water Shifu. Um, Terra Poison's probably fine. They might, they'd probably go for a uh, dark move, maybe a water move. Uh, not a dark, a fighting move onto my Urshifu. So I think Dazzling Gleam, Terra Poison, and Wicked Blow this guy could be okay. Oh, who are you swapping to? Do you got Clefairy? That would be really annoying. It's Amoongus. Okay, dealing some damage to Amoongus is fine. Dazzling Gleam will deal some damage to their Urshifu, unless they go Terra. Yeah, no Terra from their Urshifu. Good damage into Amoongus. Rocky Helmet is annoying. And close combat! Beautiful! Ooh, a little bit of damage. But I'm faster than you, which is cool. And now that you're minus one, Dazzling Gleam could do damage. Oh, it does over half! Hey! Hey! That's pretty good! I think I'm happy to go for a Gleam and... We could blow Amoongus. Yeah, I see this working out, because if I'm faster than you... You're gonna pretty much have to lose something. Uh, I guess your best play would be Protect Urshifu? But no, because then I could always just Helping Hand Wicked Blow your Urshifu next turn. That probably gets the KO now that you're at minus one defense. Uh, here's a Terra. What do you got? Water Terra. Yeah, you're going hard after Ferrigraph, but I have a Citrus Berry. I'll probably survive. Rage Powder just to make sure I don't Wicked Blow that. That's fair. Um, do I survive a Citrus Berry? I sure hope so. If I don't, I could be in a little trouble because everything can get Thunderclapped at that point. I guess this game's not over then. Oh, you take out my Urshifu? Is that okay? I feel like that's okay. I don't think I mind that too much. Right? I don't know. This is, this is a kind of a spooky endgame. How much do I think Choice Specs Helping Hand Ice Beam could do? And is that what I want to lock into? I think it is what I want to lock into. Um, Ally Switch is also on the table. So is Dazzling Gleam. But I think Helping Hand Ice Beam is the play. Yeah, because they could have spread moves, they could be getting around Ally Switch, making Ally Switch mostly pointless. I really hope this Ice Beam can take out Bolt. Urshifu protects, that's perfect. That's the best thing that could happen here. Come on, take it out. Oh no. Electro Web, someone dodged. Who is that? Oh, Kyogre dodged. That is enormous. Oh, that is so big. Because now you're absolutely going to lose Raging Bolt. There's nothing you can do about it. Presumably that's Assault Vest there. And then Dazzling Gleam. Ice Beam here. Oh, what can you do? Oh, that miss is huge. Dodging that Electro Web won me this game, I think. Um, is there a way for them to still win this? Uh, I guess if Bolt does have Protect... No, it doesn't. It shouldn't. That <laughs> If it lives that huge, powerful Ice Beam, it shouldn't be. Uh, and we know we're faster than Earth to now, yeah, there's no chance. Their best bet was that close combat critting and them being faster than Kyogre. Because they we've never revealed the speed tier there. It is possible for them to be faster than max speed Kyogre. 
Oh man, good game. That was so close. Comes down to an Electro Web dodge. Wow. Because I would have been in close combat range at that point. Oh, GG. Alright, we've got a Calyrex, a Pelipper. Okay, we're not going to fight over the weather, I guess. Urshifu, Amoongus, Incineroar, and Rock Ogre Pond. I can't Water Spout freely because there's a Pelipper. But Regieleki should scare out Pelipper. And I can always Hydro Pump. So I really like Regieleki Kyogre. Uh, because they have a Fake Out, I need to have Farigarath. And then the, the real question is, who is my fourth? Dershifu could be okay. Uh, the bear... I don't love the bear, because I don't think I would save Terra for the bear. Could I? What's my Terra on Farigraph Fairy? That's not very useful unless that's a Dershifu. Um, I guess I could save Terra for the bear, and then the bear could go in. Either one of these bears is great, though. And your Terra Poison? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I want the one that's faster than Pelipper, or the one that's slower than Pelipper? I want the one that's immune to Spore, but we don't have that. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Ur Dershifu. Yeah. It's our only physical attacker, so I mean... Should bring it, probably. And Sucker Punch could be pretty good in the end game. Uh, no trainer card though. What is it with Calyrex Ice Rider users and not having a trainer card? I don't know what's with that. Ogre Pond and Pelipper right away. Cool. I mean, it's not super cool. Guess they were ready for this lead, huh? I think I want to Thunder Pelipper. And bring in Dersh. Uh, if I lose Dershifu, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Pelipper is basically locked into protecting or wide guarding, unless it has a Sash. Okay, it just goes for wide guard. Cool. Show me you're not Sash, so I can just erase you with Thunder. Ah, you are Sash, that's annoying. Paralysis, please? Which comes after the Sash trigger? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. You can't do that perfectly successful anymore. And then what do you got? Uh, just Horn Leech? Fine. Doesn't even two-shot. Okay. I want to Electro Web. The question is, Wicked Blow or Close Combat? Another question is, am I adamant or jolly? I'm jolly? So if they're adamant, I could be faster, maybe. Electro Web. And then if they do go for Wide Guard, I should Wicked Blow into the Pelipper slot. They go for a Protect and it fails. You can Protect into Wide Guard, but you cannot Wide Guard into Protect. They could have been just going for a, a double protect there, because Wide Guard increases the number of protects used in a row counter, but Wide Guard doesn't look at it when you use it. Wide Guard will always succeed. And Choice Band Wicked Blow takes out the Ogre Pond. Goodbye your leads. And goodbye any chance you had at handling a Kyogre. Um, I, guess, I guess it's not completely over. You might have something else that can handle it, but this is looking good. Uh, Ice Horse? Oh, it's a Moongus. Amoongus is annoying. I gotta give you that. Amoongus could make this a little bit annoying. Uh, you did save Terra. Kyogre can probably take a hit. I'm gonna go ahead and Thunder Calyrex. Terra Poison, that doesn't help. and Wicked Blow to Calyrex. 
You're gonna have to Rage Powder if you want Calyrex to not take this level up. And if you Rage Powder, then you're not scoring, and that makes me happy. Oh, it's Terra Ground! Ooh! Ooh! Thunder is not gonna do nothing. Okay, you can Spore now. Yeah, you're gonna Spore something. And you're gonna set Trick Room, most likely. Sporing my Dershifu. Okay, uh, there's a lot of comeback potential here. I did not uh, win the game yet. Uh, they Pollen Puff their own Calyrex here, for sure. And presumably they can take out Ileki. Oh, I'm in trouble. Did I just lose? Uh, no, I have Citrus- Oh, I can't use Citrus Berry! Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, I guess I should have doubled the Amoongus last turn? Does that make sense? They go for a Spore. I'm glad they didn't go for a Pollen Puff. And they just go for a Glacial Lance. I don't know if we eat this. Probably not. Nope. How do I get out of this? I have to get Trick Room to end, but I don't have enough Protects! Alright, we've got three whole turns of Trick Room to get through. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Kyogre on this slot. And try to reverse Trick Room, knowing they're gonna spore me. Uh, Glacial Lance might just take out for Vigoreth anyway. Welcome to the field, Kyogre. Please, uh... Okay, they do spore. How much does Glacial Lance do to a Farina Rat? Way too many. And the rain is over. They can throw two more Lances. They have to score in Glacial Lance. I can't win this. I don't see any way to win this. They could predict Kyogre to protect and throw that way. They could try to use a single target move on accident and throw that way. Oh, but they, yeah, they, if they just play this right, they, I got no shot. They should just Glacial Lance and Spore. And there's nothing I can do about it. Like, Kyogre hangs on there, but then they just throw another Glacial Lance. <sighs> Frustrating. Had a great start, <laughs> just not able to close it out. Uh, good game to my opponent. Yeah, last turn of Trick Room, but Kyogre can't do anything about it. Glacial Lance definitely takes out Regieleki. I guess I could have, what, protected Regieleki, then gone for the Terra Blast, but... No. No way I'm ever beating a move with this moveset. If I was Ice Terra Blast, then I could have protected here, and then knocked out Calyrex with a surprise Terra Blast, if they didn't Rage Powder, that is. Or if they didn't Protect Spore. Mm, but yeah, not with Fairy Terra Blast. Well, good game, opponent. You played well. 
You had the end game on lock and you got me with it. Hmm. But go get a trainer card. Alright, we've got they've got a Gastrodon. Are you kidding? Are you joking right now? That's hilarious. Okay. Well, I can take out Gastrodon's partners. <laughs> uh, I may have to play toward the bear. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that Kyogre doesn't like, but Urshfu and my bear seem okay. Except against Zamazenta. So how do I handle Zamazenta? Uh, close combat with Urshfu, probably. Could I go a Trick Room route here? Probably not. I think I want to do Tailwind. That's good against their Rillaboom. I think I want to go with Urshifu off the bat? Yeah. Have Kyogre. I know they're going to have Gastrodon. And then I need Farigarath, actually, to stop the Rillaboom from doing stuff and stop the fake outs from both of them. Yeah, I think Tornadus actually does a lot here. If I can keep Tornadus going. Maybe Kyogre isn't the sweeper. Maybe Tornadus is. But maybe they know that and take it out right away. Oh, they got a Charizard. Why didn't you bring your Charizard team? Why'd you bring your Gastrodon team? <laughs> Gorythmic and Zamazenta. Okay. Feel you. I feel you. I could Terra Ghost Tornadus here. Make sure I get a Bleak Wind off. That'd be nice. While simultaneously going for a close combat on Zamazenta. Yeah, there we go. And the Terra Ghost is good against Zamazenta because then they can't body press me later. Uh, the fake out could be into Urshifu too, but I don't think they're as threatened by Urshifu. I guess there could be no fake out at all. They know I have Farigraph. Tornadus could be Cloak. Oh, yeah, I think this is fine. This is a fine start. Burning Terra right away on the Tornadus. This Tornadus I want to keep alive as long as possible. I don't want to break my Sash on a little fake out if you're going for that. Oh, you were going for that! Nice! So it was a good Terra. We're faster than Zamazenta. We do over half to Rillaboom. Awesome. Drop? Uh, no, drop the other one. Oh we're, oh, we're faster with that, too. Oh, Zamazenta's almost gone. Oh, that's so good. That is such a strong start. And body... Ooh, bye. <laughs> bye! Okay, my play here is actually bring in Kyogre just to set the rain. I'm not actually here to attack. I'm just setting the rain because I want a bleak windstorm and bring in Frigoraph to stop any grassy glides. And then maybe later in the game I can Tailwind, and then if Rillaboom goes down... Like, I, I can't speak too soon. They could have Wide Guard on their Zamazenta, which would annoy me greatly. In fact, how do I win if they do? I guess I'd get Kyogre back in somehow next to Farigarath and Ice Beam it down. Because Farigarath doesn't have any uh, single target moves. Just to protect from Zamazenta. That tells me no wide guard. And getting rid of Rillaboom is huge. Yeah, Grassy Glide, nope. You can't do that. It won't tell me who you're targeting, but I assume Kyogre. And now I can go Trick Room or Tailwind, depending on my needs. Or maybe just keep attacking and use, like, Ally Switch and Helping Hand and just let Tornadus sweep. That'd be cool. Alright, uh, now. A Zamazenta with a little bit of health is different than a Zamazenta with none health, so it's still not, like, over.
Yeah, I'm going for a Bleak Windstorm, 100%. Question is if I want to consider Trick Room or Ally Switch. I think I'll just go for Dazzling Gleam, just in case, like, they're uh, Sash on their Tornadus. Oh, they get a speed drop on my Tornadus, that's annoying. But we live the combo, yes! Awesome. Yeah, now I can set Hailwind if I want for my Kyogre in the back. Hopefully we take out their Torn. No, they're bulky. Not taking out their Torn. But their Torn went first, so their max speed. Huh. Do I think I could take another Bleak Wind? Maybe. And then who is Tritoser? Gastrodon! Well, they're not going to knock me out with another Bleak Wind, so I should just throw it. And probably put a Helping Hand behind it as well. Because as, as bad as Gastrodon is, I can still Ice Beam it later. Yeah, you go for Bleak Wind. We both eat that. Awesome. Get big damage, take out your Tornadus, put your Gastrodon on half. And now you... Hmm... I don't know. We'll see. Muddy Water, Double Connect, take out both of my Pokémon. Alright. What is your Terra type? You didn't, you didn't burn it yet, right? So if you have a Terra type that can take an Ice Beam, I could still lose this. I could very easily still lose this. Like, a Specs Ice Beam does a lot. I, I need this win. Come on. Yeah, you didn't Terra that, that, or that. You're saving it. Make sure I click Ice Beam. That's Ice Beam. No other move will work. Oh no, it's gonna be Terra Fire, isn't it? I'd be happy with like Poison or something. <gasps> ah! What did I do wrong? That damage is not nearly enough. Oh no! Recover and Muddy Water. With Leftovers. At least Grass is gone. And I only have 9 Ice Beams to win? I guess I need a Freeze right here. Yeah, 9 will do it, maybe. Earth Power, Muddy Water, Recover. I wonder if you have Protect. Because you can just stall out all of my Ice Beams if you have Protect. If not, I need the Freeze. I really need the Freeze. I need the Freeze so bad. Don't think you have Protect. Ooh, that was a crit. And a Freeze? <gasps> Yo, stay there. Stay, don't move. Don't move. Yeah, don't move. You stay in that block of ice. You stay there. Don't move a muscle. You need to stay like that for the next, like, five turns, okay? Oh, they cancel! Oh, they cancel! We got it with the freeze! That's why you don't give up! Great trainer card, by the way. Alright, here we've got a Maridon matchup. That's a scary one. Oh, uh, and they have Tailwind. Uh, they also have Gothitelle, oh boy. Uh, Chiyu, Volcarona, and Urshifu. I, I don't know where to begin, that's so scary. Uh, match Tailwinds and use Regilecki as an option? Um... Maridon is just so scary. Uh, yeah, I think match Tailwinds and use Regilecki to control speed. Could work. 
Kyogre is good against everything not named Maridon, so that's a good thing. They don't have too much priority I'm worried about, but getting up Trick Room could actually work against their team. Is there any way for me to get Trick Room up though? Because they could just delete this. Uh, and definitely the bear. Having the bear is big. Uh, but that's a cool combo. Uh, Gothitelle Maridon is a really good combo because you can just basically pin a slot. They can't swap. And you blow them up. So there's no lead I have with Kyogre that can get around that. So I can't lead Kyogre. Because if I were to lead Kyogre into that combo... Oh, that's a cool card. Yeah, if I lead Kyogre and they go Maridon Goth, I lose Kyogre. There's nothing I can do about it. Whimsicott, Water Sheep. Fine. That's fine. That's good. I'll Tailwind Electro Web you. Even Scarf or Shifu is usually slower than Regieleki, and I'm Life Orb Regieleki. Tailwind. Electro Web. I'm happy with this. I would prefer to be able to Thunder, but like, I like if I had an accurate electric move, that might be better. Or maybe it's not better, since they could probably swap that slot. So Electro Web might be the best play I've got. Yeah, okay, they swap it. Electro Web was better than Thunder. Into Maridon. All right, getting speed control on Maridon is good. Not that I can do anything to Maridon in this position, but I got a speed control. They Tailwind, I Tailwind. I'm hoping that I can drop the speed on that Whimsicott. Like, not Covert Cloak, I mean. Good, it's not Covert Cloak. And neither is Maridon. We've got speed control. Now we need something to die. Any volunteers? Honestly, maybe the bear could come in. It's possible they encore me into Tailwind anyway. And if they go for an electric move there, bear blocks it. And with enough electro webs, eventually the bear will be faster than your Maridon, which you need to be fearing of. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Encore fails. Okay, called that play. Good. Got another Electro Web. Now, hopefully, you're not deleting Regil. Oh, no, deleting the Regieleki would be okay. Hopefully, you're not Volt switching Regieleki. Oh, man. Okay. Fine. I get some momentum, but not a lot. You don't know I don't have Earth Power on this barrel, so... <laughs> uh, we both have Tailwind up. Whatever coming in is not subject to the Electro Web drops. And it's Urshifu. So I want to throw Bleak Wind Storms. And I want to... Okay, I'm Terra Normal, that's fine. Would they close combat in this position, maybe? Do I want to Terra? I kind of have no choice. Because I think they would lock a water move, not close combat. <laughs> Getting rid of Whimsicott would be nice, actually. So I'm gonna Bleak Wind Storm, Hyper Voice, Terra Normal. Uh, this could go either way. Uh, it looks like they're tearing, which implies water, which implies water move. Um, could they be Scarf and taking out Tornadus? That could be annoying. They could also be just going after the bear. They could also be doubling into the bear. That could hurt. Ah, if only I had called the Volt Switch correctly. 
But then I'd have to swap both things out. And bringing Kyogre in did not feel like the play. They are Scarf. And they're hitting Tornadus. No! I don't have a win condition now. I'm losing. I'm gonna lose! No! Oh, Maridon's just so hard to deal with. Okay. How much do we do? All of it. That's great. <laughs> That's really great. But it's not gonna be enough. Is it? There's Maridon. Um, if you have Discharge, you just win. Right? Maybe you Discharge, KO your own Pokémon. I Blood Moon, KO your Maridon. Lose Kyogre, obviously. Oh, uh, what's the move to lock into with Kyogre? Origin Pulse? Yeah. Blood Moon Maridon. Origin Pulse. Because maybe you only go for a single target move here. You do, you go for Electro Drift. But it's into the bear! Ah. Uh... Could I have one with Ice Beam then? Probably not. You probably have a Fire type in the back. Can a Origin Pulse KO you from here? That'd be awesome. Uh, if you had Terrid, yeah. Wait, what was Whimsicott doing? Both Tailwinds go. Are they gonna try to set Trick Room for something? It's so sad because I can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna get Electro Drifted. No, yeah, it's Chiyu. Ice Beam wouldn't have worked. I'm going to not let them click Electro Drift into this Kyogre. I am going to give up this battle now. Good game. Go ahead and take your win. I hope this got you into Master Ball. Because I am forever stuck in Ultra Ball. A good card, too. We are back. I don't know what order I'm going to be putting those battles in. Because sometimes I have to change the order around. But what actually happened was win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. I needed two wins in a row to get Master Ball, and I did not get it. Uh, I, I don't think this is the style of team for me, if I'm being honest. Uh, it might be the style of team for you. It's very aggressive, very powerful. This is a really good team. It, it's not me doing bad. I mean, I won half of my games anyway. Uh, but if this is the team for you, go ahead and rent it. There's the rental code in the corner. Uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right. Peace.